we have studied the law of demand, which shows that when price changes, demand also changes. Law of demand only tells you the direction. Kis disha mein? Kimat girti hai, demand badhti hai. Price falls, demand rises. But a question comes into the mind. At what rate? Demand kis rate se badhti hai? That answer is provided by another topic related to demand, which is called price elasticity of demand. Abhi humne kaha, at what rate? The rate means degree. So degree of change in what? Demand. We can say the degree of response, the degree of response, response of what? Response of demand. Demand kis ko respond karti hai? To change in price. So what does this price elasticity of demand measure? There are three words, price, elasticity and demand. This concept measures the degree of response of demand to change in the price. The degree of response simply means the rate of change, the ratio of change. And this ratio is expressed as, I write EP. P for price, E for elasticity. This is a, uh, in brief, what we call price elasticity of demand. It is simply percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price percentage change in price take a very small example suppose there is 5% change in demand change in price kemat 5% ghat gayi Now, ghat gai ka matlab, minus. Jis ki wajay se, demand 10% bada gai, maan li shi. 10%, let us say, plus. Obviously, the answer would be, minus 2. Now, what will this mean? What does this minus 2 mean? It's a simple class 3rd question, class 4th question. Unit sums, which you had done in, when you were a child. It's simple. If 5% change in price leads to 10% change in demand, 1% change in price leads to 10 upon 5 is equal to 2% change in demand. The 2 is derived. Now you can interpret this 2, minus 2. Leave out minus first, and then we talk of minus later. 2 means 1% change in price leads to 2% change in demand. We can improve this statement further and say, since we have used minus sign, Minus sign indicates inverse relation 
बिटवीन प्राइस एंड डिमांड तो माइनस टू विल मीन वन परसेंट चेंज वन परसेंट फॉल इन प्राइस लीडिंग टू टू परसेंट राइस इन डिमांड दिस इज हाउ वी इंटरप्रेट द न्यूमेरिकल मेजर ऑफ प्राइस इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड Now, since there is an inverse relation between demand and price, price and demand, sorry, and price and demand, the numerical answer of price elasticity must always be in minus. Now, there is a confusion between student community and sometimes in the teacher community as well, and that confusion arises on account of different books talking of different things. let us remove this confusion when you compare price elasticity now here our answer is minus 2 suppose there is some other answer which is minus 3 now which price elasticity is greater minus 2 or minus 3 if you base your answer on the basis of mathematics your answer will be that minus 2 is greater than minus 3 which means suppose this commodity is x and this is y demand for commodity x is more elastic than the demand for commodity y which is wrong in fact demand for commodity y is more elastic than demand for commodity x the reason is before you a 1% change in the price of x leads to 2% rise in demand for x and 1% fall in price of y leads to 3% rise in demand for y a higher rise therefore y is more elastic than x now what do we do should we use minus or should we ignore minus in fact we do both the general rule is while calculating ep don't remember don't ignore minus sign while comparing eps ignore minus sign ignore minus sign ignoring minus sign means what ignoring minus sign means take absolute values don't make the mistake in the examination if you are asked to solve a question on elasticity then if minus comes let it come don't ignore it but if you are asked to compare your price elasticities then take only absolute value you have to ignore minus sign this is the general rule when we study further this topic keep this thing in mind minus sign should not be ignored during calculation of price elasticity it should not be ignored after this we come to methods of measurement the 
वी कम टू मेथड्स ऑफ मेजरमेंट 